Hey guys, Anita Fania here. Welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do part two of the $100 jewelry jar. And <laughs> I want to tell you guys, I was so upset that I didn't get the, the second jar. I'm, I'm regretting not getting it, that I eat a cookie. Literally a cookie this big. So um, now I'm upset about that, but it's okay. I hope Lucia's not watching. Uh, now that I hate, now that I, now that I ate that cookie, I have to literally um, make me such a small meal for today. But it's okay. I'm happy about you know what I found in, in the jar, half of it, and we're, now we're gonna do the other half. I'm gonna show you just a few other things that I that I noticed that I hadn't tested. Okay, so this one here came out of the first uh, half as well, and this uh, tested as jade. So we have this one. And then this glass one here, I noticed that it had some beads in here, uh, which uh, resemble jade. So I tested them. These, these, the blue, the yellow, and then there's pink. And um, and so these ones here, some of them are jade and, and the rest of them are glass. So I had some nice things uh, in there as well. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and, and, uh, and look at what else we have. Okay. Okay, first we have a stretchy ring here. And this looks like a sliced agate that's bezeled in. Uh, they put it on this stretch thing, which I don't understand after doing all this work, why they would put this and not just put it on a really nice uh, you know, ring band. It is a really beautiful piece here, but why would you put it on a stretchy? Seriously? It's such a nice ring, you know? It would have looked much nicer on, on even just a, a silver tone, a nicer um, band. So yeah, we have this. <laughs> okay, uh, next we have this. It says L, Ellen, S no, Celine, and then there's a little cross, but it's all it's coming apart. So I'll put that in crafts and earrings. Okay, found earrings that are paired together here. Um, fauceted beads, pretty black. Okay, and this one here, I am going to go back. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to admit it that I'm going to go back and see if they have the second one. So this is just glass beads here. Okay, we have an Alex and Ani. So guys, this jar is getting better and better. Uh, it's the letter G over here. Is that G or J? Hang on, guys. Uh, G. Okay. Uh, we have a stretchy with the cross and really pretty sparkly beads here. And then have another ring. Okay, this looks silver too. Um, okay, I see the 9 to 5 mark. So we have a, a silver ring. Here it needs to be clean dough. And then this one it's a necklace a chain like chain links here and chicos nice this is a nice piece i really love this one this is really pretty and guys i want to remind you guys again that tomorrow i'm going to be doing you know how the two jars that i had left that i hadn't opened i'm going to be opening choosing one of them to open and that jar i'll be doing doing a giveaway on so please uh, don't forget to tune in uh, or watch tomorrow's video and uh, leave a comment on there because I'll be going through the comments uh, to pick a winner. So hopefully there'll be some goodies in that jar too. Okay, so this one, it's a ring. Again, stretchy. Oh, this one is Chico's. I've never seen a stretch Chico's ring or a ring. <laughs> so we have a Chico's ring here. Okay, uh, this looks like an alpaca alpaca piece here with inlaid mother of pearl and yes it does say alpaca it's a really nice piece of flower and a moon and blue very pretty oh you guys have to see this dorothy's shoes from the wizard of oz so cute let's see if it's, there's a mark on here 1997 it says this is so cute guys glittery little shoes and they do have their little crystals in the center bows which look like ab stones the Aura, Aura borealis stones inside 
Okay, we have another one of those necklaces here with the um, glass beads. Okay, we have a brooch, a clover brooch with a Celtic uh, design on here. It has a little diamond center. What? Maybe maybe this is a gemstone. I'm not sure. Oh, we have a mark here. Um, it says Solor. <laughs> S O L O O R. That's what it says over here. So we have that. And ooh, look at this guy here. Uh, we have a carved uh, flower. What I'm pretty sure these are jade. Uh, leaves here, uh, no maker's marks. Uh, this is pretty. Okay. okay. We have a bangle, clamper, a bow. I've seen ones like these that are Kate Spade, but I don't see any marks on this one. It's cute. Okay, guys, this next one. Oh my god. It is to die for. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Look at it. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, no marks in the back or front. But oh my god. Wow. Look at that. And again, I'm going to check and see if it has all you know the stones. The green ones it does. <laughs> but there seems to be other stones over here around the little squares oh my god okay this definitely is a showstopper so wow oh my goodness okay uh we have a rocking horse here little tiny pin um a stretch bracelet of course we're gonna have our stretchies in here okay uh, oh we have another charm bracelet guys okay Um, where did my magnet go? Okay, so this is being picked up. It's not sterling, but it has some really cool charms. Corn, sailboat. Oh, here we go. Uh, Indiana, it says on here. It's a pretty charm bracelet. And we have something with rhinestones here. And I can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, guys, what is this? I think this is maybe some kind of body jewelry, but um, yeah, I can't figure it out now. I need one of my forms um, to put it on and then also check the stones. But it is a rhinestone one with gold tone. Okay, and okay, I see an earring that I have the pair for here. I mean, the mate for. Okay, so we have these. Cute. No marks. Another statement necklace. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cooperate. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's pretty cool. Black and gold. I like it. It's not bad. It's interesting. And we have Mickey Mouse. Cute little Mickey Mouse head and Disney. And we have this one here. Is this Disney too? It's a bracelet with a tassel and a little fairy. It says make make a wish. It's a little fairy. It's cute. Okay, we have another necklace of some sort of gemstone here, maybe lapis. Another necklace. Lots of uh, statement pieces in this um, in this jar. This is really cool. Oh, okay, guys. This one is missing a little stone here. It's missing the stone. So this one I'll go ahead and put into craft right now. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, we have a stretch fauceted bracelet here. Oh no, I am not gonna stretch this. Look at that. It's yellowing, and if you stretch it, it's going to break. So I'm just going to put this in crafts, and maybe somebody can restring it. Oh, watch. Oh, but this watch is cute. 
it has kind of like faux abalone um, little pieces here. And it's, let's see what it says. Um, Pierre, is that Pierre or Pew? P I E. No, how can I have on? P I E U A Nicole. I don't know, guys. Never heard of it. So we have this one. Oh, needs a new battery. Oh, a ring. Another fabulous ring. <laughs> and nowhere on here. No marks. Uh, it's a fashion ring, but look at how nice it is. It's beautiful, clean. That's a nice ring. Okay. So we got quite a few uh, rings uh, in here too. Oh, here's another one. This Somebody made this one out of uh, crystals. Cute. And <laughs> guys, look, Olive from Popeye. Uh, it's a little brooch. Oh, I don't see any marks. In... That is so cute. <laughs> Popeye the Sailor Man. Doo -doo. <laughs> okay, we have the Leo one here, but it has a lot of chips over here. And oh, another fabulous piece here. Little black stones. Very pretty. Oh, what's this over here? Cleaned off. Nope. Hang on. Something sticky. That's needs some cleaning here. But this is a nice one. Gold and black really look pretty together. Okay, and there's no uh, tags here, but this is nice. Back. Pretty clean. I still have my eye on that green one over there. I keep looking at it. <laughs> oh, fish. Okay, so we have some kind of carved fish on I think this is leather okay the fish and we have geese here it's pretty it's a brooch pendant and a mark Sarah Cove. so it's a Sarah Coventry brooch it's pretty big <laughs> uh, it's a it's pretty big for a pendant or a brooch okay another watch um i don't know guys i'm just gonna put the watches in the watch lot oh my god i <laughs> remembered there's another one and i cannot remember what this uh what uh, um you know maker this reminds me of um it is really pretty so we have what three of these three this is the third one uh, this is nice look at this all the gold rhinestones it's an earring oh we have it okay so we have the mate to this one here uh, no marks it's gold very pretty uh, a ring and a tree a little christmas tree I don't know what this is about, guys. Uh, I've, I see a lot of jewelry like this where it has some kind of like little religious charm hanging on the jewelry. Do you guys know anything about that? If you know, please put it into the comments. Um, if there's a maybe a company that makes these or are these handmade or why are they hanging, you know, the, the little religious charms? on? I see them on lots of different jewelry pieces. I've come across a lot of them. So is there some kind of... Um, reason why they why they put it on these or I don't know I have no idea because look this one it looks like it was drilled and I don't know guys I don't know okay another oh this is an adjustable ring with um what looks to be milk glass in there just need some cleaning okay a mesh necklace here this is pretty if you need some kind of really nice pendant and they'll look pretty no marks oh earrings i see the other one here okay so these are really cool i don't see anything missing these are pretty earrings light blue sky blue color and then we have another ring 
uh, flower. Oh, this one has way too much wear. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that in crafts. Next, we have another ring. Okay, this also has some wear. It's a fashion ring. I'm going to put that in crafts as well. Oh, we have a turquoise that um, someone handmade with wire. A turquoise bead. Okay. Okay, I have a necklace with those. Um, I think these are called the hand rolled paper uh, beads. One back there. And we have this one with plastic beads. Bye, 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 bye. Who? Huh. Handmade. It says handmade in Italy. Oh, it says something in the back. Okay. Express. Oh, it's Express. Okay. I didn't know Express was made in Italy. Okay. Um, oh, more hand rolled paper. Necklace, another one here with two strands. This is actually pretty. I like the color. It's kind of like a, a flamingo pink color. So I have that one. Chain with a little tag here. Seracle. Okay, so maybe it's missing the pendant. Maybe it's inside. Um, bracelet with faux abalone on here. Pretty tiny, maybe for a child. Um, this one. Oh, okay, we have the meat to this one. Oh, but it's missing the you know the hook on here. Okay, we can find we can change it and put different hooks. What else? What else? <laughs> guys, I'm still thinking about going and getting the other one. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. If more than 10 people tell me to go get it, I'm going to go see if they still have it. Uh, Express, this one. I wonder if it's still there. You know, chances are it's not because they go pretty fast. Okay, this is just a regular chain. Yeah. Um, most likely it's not going to be there, but you never know. Oh, this is pretty. We have the other one here. Cute marked Monet okay so we have Monet pair of earrings so not bad so far so good what is this <laughs> okay guys so here is a handmade obviously hand rolled paper a large statement piece a knot necklace here Okay, if, if you guys like those, please let me know. I don't know uh, if anybody likes those, you know, hand-rolled paper um, necklaces. Uh, here's one made out of wood and a little mother of pearl pendant here. This is a pretty one. I need to make a wood lot. I have so many wood pieces. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one, guys. Another one. And Wow. This is what I call a statement piece here. <laughs> uh, and they have these, you know, kind of like uh, snap closures here. Well, this is a, this is interesting, but I do actually like the color combination of the yellow and the gold together. So imagine me wearing this, guys. I might actually do that because I love the colors. Okay, we have a surfer, surfer necklace here with shells. I call those the surfer necklaces. Uh, we have a little fetish bird uh, bracelet. Cute. Uh, we have another. Oh, we have another one of the same ring. So I have two of these rings. Oh, nice. Okay, and they're really fun and sparkly. Uh, we have an anchor. Napier, it says in the back. Okay, we don't have too many. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, so this didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. Okay. Oh, what, guys, look at this. So I had another one in the other uh, half that I did, and there's more. So And I have no idea what these are. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and they're really heavy. So where would you hang something like this? Like maybe your purse or I don't know. Why are they so heavy? Little suns and gold. Very pretty. They still have their little, you know, little tags on here. So they're new. And of course, shells. <laughs> these are cute little tiny shells, though. I keep some of these. Some of them I keep, put them in, in crafts. I use some of them, you know, for my uh, mermaid crowns. Okay, so we have the other one of this. I saw it here. A very nice, lightweight, cute little earrings. And we have a pin. Oh, it's a lion. Oh, look at that. You know what? It's not focusing. You guys have to see this. It's too adorable not to focus. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to get it to focus. You guys have to see how adorable this is. Oh, my God. Come on, focus. Why isn't it focusing? This Logitech gets on my nerves sometimes. Maybe if I do that. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at that. It has hair, hairdo. So cute. Okay, now let's look <laughs> for marks. <laughs> Oh God, now I know I ruined the word the focus, didn't I? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, oh, it has two. Oh, did I break it? I think I broke it. Um, how do I take it off? Uh oh, so does it roll off? Hmm. Oh my god, guys, it says 18k on this little pin over here. So this is gold. So most likely those little stones are probably rubies and emeralds in his little eyes and nose. Wow. Okay. So but I think it's broken. I'm not sure why this um came apart like that, but I'll figure it out. It's really cute. So this is definitely a good find in here. Okay, we have another ring with sparklies. Again, a pretty sparkly ring. This is a smaller one. And we have a few more things. Let me take them out. Okay. And the bowl is empty now. Oh, we have earrings. Little flower earrings in pink. Cute little flowers. And marks here, Hong Kong. This is. A little elephant. Uh, we have another one of these here. I'm not sure which one that is. The water one, is that the Aquarius? Aquarius. Uh, we have, oh, Eskimos. Eskimos. So cute. And Barbara Lavalie. Arctic. Hmm. This is really cute. Uh, we have earrings here with the mate. Enamel little dangles. And blue. I'm trying to flip them over. <laughs> oh, no marks. Oh, these are cute. They're not too heavy, so it's pretty. Uh, we have blue earrings. Okay, these say Monet. So we have a pair of Monets. Cute little triangular ones here. Uh, we have another old little paper made brooch. We have this one here. It's for hair. Okay. We have more of these. There were so many of these. What are these? They're the zodiac signs. See, Leo. This one has a cross on it. Um, but there's a lot of chips around every single one. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with these. Maybe make a charm bracelet or I don't know. A little hand here um, 
no it's not picking up and then we have another stretch ring a little tiny fish <laughs> earrings I see a little mark there. I think these are 925. Yeah. Is it? I see it over there on the little. I don't know, guys. You never know. These might actually be gold, but we'll see. Nope. 925. Okay, so they're, they're sterling. And we'll test the stones. Okay, so we have cute little green earrings. And what else do we have? We have another pendant here, a little heart pendant. Um, what is this here? It's a little brooch with two other little brooches, pins, church, some kind of church. Let's see. They're so tiny, I can't grab them. <laughs> L, no, it's not a church. It says L uh, Circulo Espanol. I don't know what that is, guys. What did the little one say? It says 1965 on one. And then it says secretary on the other one. So I don't know. And we have another religious pendant here. And there's a picture of someone in here. And this one. Okay. It's his name over there in the back. Um. In the front, I mean. What does it say in the back? Uh, uh, 22. Oh, okay. Um, I think that I think he's a Marine that passed away. And they put his, like, the, the date back here. Uh, and then it says on the bottom, Hecho and Me Me Mexico. And then it says uh, 22K GP. So it's gold plated. Um, I don't know, guys. Um, why would someone. How do, how did this end up here? So I don't know. Okay. I don't want to show it too much because it's kind of like a personal thing. Okay. So let's see <laughs> what were the goodies out of this half here. Uh, of course, this one here was my ultimate favorite uh i can't stop thinking about this one right now uh this one we have the little earrings uh that are sterling we have a gold piece where'd it go the little tiny lion gold piece we have and we let's see in here what else was in here right now i'm drawing a blank okay here we have the chico's necklace uh we have this cute little eskimo um pin here we have beautiful earrings uh, we have the monet earrings uh, we have this um sarah cove piece here which just got stuck here oh we have the sarah cove piece here the geese um what else was in here oh the car fish was in here uh, we got an alpaca piece we had a sterling piece here we had this beauty here, which I still don't understand why it's on a stretchy. Oh, we had Dorothy shoes. Dorothy shoes. And then we had uh, we had actually a Chico's ring, which is odd. I've never seen one. And we have um was this out of this one, guys, or the uh first half? I don't know. The Alex and Ani here. And yeah, because it got mixed up. Oh, what is this over here, guys? I missed this one. It's a beer stein. Uh, I missed this one. Okay, what is this? Uh, Hickok. It says H I C K O K. Uh, it's a tie clip. Okay, let's just put this one here too. Oh, and olive. Olive oil. <laughs> and what else? What else? Uh, oh, the jade pieces. The uh, um. Where did it go here? This beauty here. Okay, so yeah, I am really, really happy with this jar. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know. And uh, and don't forget to watch tomorrow's video. It's going to be a jewelry jar giveaway. So don't forget 
uh, not just forget to watch, but forget to don't forget to comment below because I'm going to be choosing the winners from the comments. I hope you guys had fun watching. This was a really great jar. And you know what? I am going to go check and see if they still have the other one. If they are, I will pick it up. I'll let you guys know. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here if you're new. And don't forget to do the thumbs up. Thank you. Bye, everyone.